it going? I'm Dan. Welcome to Freaky. We've got some wicked stories for you this week. Are you one of those people that spends hours in front of the mirror? Oh, not me either. But the guy in this next story is, though. But I don't think he'll like what he sees. Hurry up! You've been in there for hours, Dan. <sighs> Oh, Trevor, how many times have I told you to tidy this mess and turn that Xbox off? Stop picking that thing. You spend more time with your reflection these days than anyone else. Anything else? I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Man, she's like a stuck CD. <laughs> Maybe you could clean this mess up for me. I'm gonna wake up any second. Oh, I'm just as real as you are. Look at that ball at me. How's that? But how? I don't know. I've been here ever since you got this old mirror. I get kind of lonely when you're out. Lonely? Isn't there like a whole other world on there, just backwards? Nah, there's only what the mirror sees. So I have to wait here all day till you get home. Well, um, why don't you come over? Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Uh, but you have to help me. Um, come here. Now, put your hand against mine. Just like me. Well, considering I am uh, your reflection. Oh, Sip, you got that zit on the other side. Yeah, you should stop picking it. It's kind of gross. Don't you, Star? So, what should we do? Oh, play some Xbox? Sweet. dream, huh? Yeah, um, you've had a shower. Yeah, I've got to get clean. Did Mum see you? Yeah, she looked kind of surprised to see me too. Oh, no wonder. I never have a shower this early, even if I do have a shower. Trevor! Who are you talking to in there? Uh, no one, Mum. I, I, I was just practising, um, for, for uh, English. It's just speech. <laughs> you've never practised for anything. You hiding? Uh, nothing. Trevor, when I saw you having an early shower this morning, I thought maybe you turned over a new leaf. Oh, well, at least you're clean. Put your uniform on. We need to leave a bit earlier today. Oh, man. So nearly busted. Oh, you worry too much. Might as well get changed. I'll clean this lot up for you, and uh, when you come home, I'll do your homework for you. Weirdo. I thought we were the same. We look the same. said tidy it, not totally renovate it. Yeah, well, now it'll keep her off your back for a while. Yeah, but now she'll hug me all the time. So? Hey, do you want me to do your homework? Sweet. Man, you have no idea what it's like being on this side. I'm free. Right. Uh, mind if I play a game? Yeah, go for it. junk from outside. You're the most wonderful son in the world. Just 
trying to make things easier for you, Mum. You do so much for me. I love you so much. I'm just going to get changed, and I'm going to do my homework. Good man. I'll bring you up a snack. You deserve it. Did you forget something? Oh, just um, my school bag. <laughs> Can't do my homework without my school bag. It's like there's a new Trevor in the house. Yeah, a new Trevor. What are you doing? Oh, flies. Does he flies? I need to get something out of your room. No. I mean, um, I'll, I'll get it for you, Mum. No, it's all right. I know where it is. It's at the top of your cupboard. Yeah. Um, I'm the one who's Mum, what? You're the best, eh? <laughs> what have you done with the real Trevor? Hidden him in the cupboard. Oh, Mum, listen, I can... What? Oh, just a little bit of cramp. Well, I'm not surprised with all the work you've done today. I'll go and bring that snack up. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Man, I was sure you are in the closet. God. Yeah, it's getting a wee bit hard, both of us being on the side, eh? Yeah, um, about that. Do you do you reckon you could, like, hang on the other side? No. Oh, <laughs> why not? Is it, like, impossible to go back? No, it's just, once you're back there, there's no return. And I like it on this side, so I've decided to stay. But unfortunately, there can only be room for one, Trevor. Stop! What are you doing? Get off me! I'm sorry, girl! What's wrong with you? Look at yourself, you're a mess. I'm the perfect son. I love you. stops for hitchhikers. He always used to. But then he heard this next story. Dad, kind of cold. Why don't you turn the heater up? It's as far as it can go. Oh, that's weird. I wasn't picking anyone up. You stopped right by me. I didn't even see you. The car just seized. Well, it's going now. Don't expect me to get out, do you? Just don't usually pick up hitchhikers, that's all. Look at it out there. Wouldn't like it if I left you by the roadside, would you? Of course not. Going far? As far as it takes. Horrible night to be out hitching. I've seen worse. I give this about a six. A six? You know, on a scale from one to ten. 
One being rainy, a bit cold. Five being fairly decent rain. Wind with a deep chill. Ten. Well, I haven't seen a ten. This would be a six. Okay then. What do you mean by that? By what? You said okay then. Didn't mean anything by it. Okay then. Is there anywhere you're headed in particular? I don't know. I guess I'm just drifting. Wherever the road takes me. Hey, can you turn down the heater a bit? It's like an oven in here. My son's feeling the cold. Maybe he's crook. What's your name, young fella? Michael. Okay, what's with the knife? You can never be too careful these days. Say that again. <laughs> How do you feel about fruit, Michael? Fruit? Yeah, you know. Fruit. Plums, apples, oranges. How do you feel about them? They're okay. Want a piece? No, no thanks. Suit yourself. Not many people come this way anymore. They usually take the motorway. Not many people stop for you either. Not after that incident. What incident? Don't you know about the incident? It was horrible. That poor family. That poor man and his son. Dead. What happened? They picked up a stranger on the same stretch of road. On a night much like tonight, only a little worse, maybe a seven. He tells them he's a drifter, just going where the road takes him. He sits in the back and watches them both, and studies them, works out their weakness, and then, well, What did he do to them? Horrible things, Michael. Horrible, nasty things. Sure don't want any apple? No, no thanks. What sort of car is this? It's a Mazda. Funny. I think they were driving a Mazda too. Yeah, a Mazda, that's it. Funny old coincidence. You want to know the worst thing? The real kicker. The guy that did it was never caught. Yep, the same stretch of road. What was their weakness? The weakness he looked for? Well, Michael, you see, when you're a stranger and you're sitting in the back of the moving vehicle, Usually the driver's the biggest threat. He's in control. Am I right? Wrong! Hey! Why look at me? I'm just sitting here behind you guys. You have your backs to me. You don't know me. You don't know what I'm thinking. What horrible, nasty things I could be scheming. And I'm just a drifter. Seeing where the road takes me. What were their names? This poor man and his son. Let me think. Their names. What were their names? That's right. Their names were... Their names were Michael and Gary McKenzie. And after what happened to us, we don't like hitchhikers much, do we, son? 
Parents so need to lighten up. They should be more like the folks you see on TV. This is where I do my spooky look and say, or should they? I don't understand how this a D. Michelle. For me. Dad, it's just a midterm report. How can you get a D for me? We are very disappointed, Michelle. Yeah. Out. I'm an accountant. Your mother's an accountant. Working with numbers is in your genes. It's that new boyfriend, isn't it? No, I saw them kissing out on the mouth. Mum, it's just one test, right? It's the whole future, young lady. You fail this, next you'll be failing your accountancy degree. Before you know it, you'll be sleeping rough on the streets. Oh, come on, Dad. There's only one thing for it. From now on, you're on the first bus straight home from school. Mum! No more hanging around at the mall. That's not fair. Well, you should start taking school more seriously. Like your brother. A D. For maths. I'm going for a walk. So you got a D in math on your midterm? Oh, honey, it's okay. Give me a hug. Anyways, it's just a silly old math test. Plasma! What? Makes the image so clear, it's just like being there. I wish I was. Well, you should check out the new hyper-reality function. Hyper-reality? It's the latest in interactive technology? It's almost as if you are inside the program. Try it out. Better eat your cookie, dear. That nice young boyfriend of yours will be here soon to pick you up in his racy sports car. Mom, he's 14. He doesn't have a car. <laughs> of course. Hi, honey. How was work today as an international airline pilot? Oh, it had its ups and downs. Dad. Steve. Michelle's upset about her grade in the maths test. Oh, kitten. My little Michelle's all upset about her math test. It was just a midterm. Then what's to worry about? I mean, failing in math. What's the worst that could happen? You don't end up being an accountant. I think I'm gonna like it here. You know, Michelle, your mom and I have been thinking about your math test, and, well, we think the reason you f didn't do so well... <laughs> is... is that we actually think you're too clever for your class. Too clever? Yeah. And that's why we're sending you to a new school. The Von Strudel Academy for Gifted Math Students in Geneva, Switzerland. Switzerland? You know, where all the cheese comes from. <laughs> the principal's coming to take you there now. We we'll packed your bag. Oh, that'll be her. <laughs> principal von Strudel. Yes, but you can call me Principal von Strudel. <laughs> Is this a child we shall mold into a genius? Hmm. You know how we mold children into geniuses? We work them hard. We crack the whip. Well, not so much whip since the court order. <laughs> we shall find the genius inside of you. Or my name is not Heidi von Strudel. Oh, don't worry, honey. You can come home and visit us for one afternoon every year. But won't you miss me? <laughs> we'll still have Jimmy. And I'll have your stereo. <laughs> and there's going to be a new special someone in our lives. 
Now that you're leaving. We got a dog. I got the room, kids, so butt out, huh? You guys promise you won't ever change, okay? We don't intend to. Where have you been, Michelle? Not the mall. Because failing that mass test was such a big deal, right? So I'm not allowed to go to the mall, right? That's right. Your mother and I have been talking about the mass test and we think maybe we were too harsh. Maybe you just need some help with your maths. So, we got you a special maths tutor. A maths tutor? Yeah. She's here now. This is Miss Von Strudel. Miss Strudel. Heidi Von Strudel. I'm from Switzerland. Oh, there's one other thing. <laughs> we got a dog! <laughs> I'd be freaked out too if I had cheesy laughter after everything I said. It's weird. Anyway. I've got to go. I'll be back next week with some more freaky stories. I'll see you then. Well? All right. made with funding from New Zealand on air.